Okay, sir. So in this test, I use the NV, not the NV classic, it's just the basic NV. And if I'm not mistaken, you said that we have to use two methods in supervised and unsupervised. So in supervised, I use the maximum likelihood method. Okay, so first you open the NV. After that, you open the file tip of Landsat. So you, uh, it just uh, after you open the NV, you can click the open and you can search uh, your file, your TIFF file. After that, you can uh, enter it and the file will be uh, come up to the NV. After that, we can search in the toolbox the classification workflow. After that, uh, you guys can input the multispectral file that, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's inside the uh, Landsat 1 file. And uh, after you click next, you can uh, see the the new bar said the classification select a method. You can select the use uh, training training data. After that, uh, you can see in my slide there is a supervised classification define training data. So first, uh, in the training data section, you can create a properties, and after that, you can enter data according to the classification you want to display. Uh, in this uh, data, I use red for the densely populated housing and pink for the residential sparsely populated. After that, the light uh, light blue I use for shallow sea and the dark blue for deep sea. And after that, I use green for vegetation. After that, uh, we can search uh, or we can click the algorithm. And in there, you can, uh, you can change your method or you can choose your method. There is four method, but in here I use maximum likelihood method. Okay, so after that, you can uh, clean up the refined result. Uh, like I see in my, uh, some tutorial in YouTube, there use three and nine for the camel size and minimum size. So I use it. So after you next, uh, you click next and it's enable smoothing and select uh, enable aggregation according to the image below. So this is the picture on the left is the result super supervised method using maximum likelihood algorithm. I think it's not that good color because maybe it's my fault to uh, define what color that I use. It's not that good combination. So the color become like this. Okay, after that, uh, I use the minimum distance method. So, uh, it seemed like the first before you open the NV, you open the file tape. After that, uh, you use the, uh, you click the toolbox and search classification workflow. Same like before. But in here, you can change the algorithm or the method to minimum distance. Like I said before, there's four methods in here. Maximum likelihood, minimum distance, Mahal and Nobis distance, and spectral angle mapper. But in here, I use a uh, minimum distance, like uh, I see in Mr. JPPT. Uh, and it's same like before, but in here, uh, I use, uh, actually I use some color, the red, pink, light blue, dark blue, and green for the uh, regions I want to, you guys see. And after that, uh, we choose the standard deviations yeah, it's known and maximum distance error yeah, known. And after that, uh, we can click next. And uh, it's same like before, you can export the data. After that, uh, you can save the data and you can be uh, clean up the data, like refine data like before. Uh, so the image become like this one. But I think it's, it's I don't know if I make a mistake because the blue one, it's it's like, I don't know, it's it's, the shape is not that good because the blue one has become bigger than the others. I don't know why. Maybe uh, I choose the wrong uh, data or or wrong uh, sample properties. But this is my result. Okay, so the next one is unsupervised. Uh, in here, I use two methods, like Mr. J said in the test. The first one is ISO data method. So actually, it's uh same like before too you open the nv you open the tiff file after that uh you can uh search for the classification work workflow too but in here the in classification type you say use uh click the method 
not training data. Before in supervised uh, method, we use the use training data, but in here we didn't use the use training data, we use the no training data. And in here, it automatically uh, requests uh, the five number of classes. So I don't, I didn't change anything. It's automatically, automatically like this. And you don't forget to input the file. And after that, uh, you can click next. And this is the clean up result too. And this is my result too. Uh, after that, I go to the k-means method. Uh, because uh, I think it just made, it just two methods, just is that and k-means. Not uh, like the supervised, there are four methods, maybe, or maybe more. So the first one, uh, you search, uh, actually, every first step, it's same, open file and uh, Android file and, and, and anything. After that, you search the toolbox classification. But in here, you didn't uh, click the classification workflow. But in here, you click the k-means classification. After that, uh, I use the i use the area resize for classification because i don't know my data it's uh it's not well good for this uh classification the result is not that good so i try to uh takes uh my friend's data in here i use area data okay after that you choose the data and in k means parameter i didn't do anything the maximum uh, STD of the maximum distance, I didn't put uh, any on there. And the number of classes, I used five, of course. And the others, I didn't change anything. After that, you enter output output file name and you can um, OK the k-means parameters. And this is the result of the k-means classification result. Presentation, thank you so much. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Mm -hmm.